Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a Marvel related video for this week. With rumors and speculation ramping up on what we'll see from Avengers 4 and Phase 4 as a whole, there's a lot of things to think about. One thing that's worth noting is the prospect of a Kate Bishop led Hawkeye film, which may rub some Clint Barton fans the wrong way since the first Hawkeye solo film may not go to him. But there is a way to do it that may please both audiences make Kate Bishop Clint's daughter in the MCU. This is a theory that's gotten some play around the internet, but it's one that's worth giving some time to. In Avengers Age of Ultron, we're introduced to Clint Barton's family, his wife Laura, his sons Cooper and Nathaniel, and his daughter Lila. Now, while Clint in the mainstream Marvel Universe never had kids, this version of his family is based on his Ultimate Comic counterpart, though his children had different names in that universe. In the Ultimate Universe, Clint's family was killed when a mole inside of the Ultimates led a Black Ops team to kill them and capture Clint to torture and question. This traitor turned out to be the Ultimate version of Black Widow, who was later taken out by Iron Man and then killed by Hawkeye. Obviously, it's not going to go down exactly that way in the MCU. Not only would having a traitor on the team now seem superfluous in the wake of the Infinity War, but it's definitely not going to be Black Widow if it does happen. So what can you do with Clint's family? Well, honestly, you can still kill them, either by the snap or directly as a result of Avengers 4, but what if Lila survived this time? If both Clint and Lila survived, and the time skip happens that's been rumored, then that could set up a situation pretty similar to Clint and Kate's relationship in Matt Fraction's run on Hawkeye, with the two of them living in the Brooklyn apartment building. Kate was already Clint's protege at that time, so giving them a more direct father-daughter relationship wouldn't change all that much. It would actually be kind of similar to Oliver Queen's relationship with his half-sister Emiko Queen in the Rebirth run of his comics, which in and of itself was already pretty similar to how Clint and Kate operated. But why would her name be Kate Bishop? Well, any number of reasons, really. Maybe after Clint took the part and that was mentioned in Infinity War, he changed his and his family's identity from the Bartons to the Bishop to try to keep them hidden and safe again. Or maybe after the events of Avengers 4, Clint changes his and Lila's identity to the Bishop because he just wants to be left alone. But Lila slash Kate wants to become a hero later. So she goes by her new name to respect her father's wishes of still wanting to stay private. A third option there is that Lila is the only surviving member of the Barton family, meaning that Clint dies in Avengers 4, and she is adopted by the real Bishop family to give her a more similar backstory to her comics counterpart. In this case, it could be revealed that either Catherine is her middle name or her real first name and her parents just called her by her middle name before, to get Kate out of her name somehow. Then she becomes the new Hawkeye later to honor her real dad. I'm sure fans of the comics probably think this is pretty similar to what happened with Cassie Lang in the comics. That's true to an extent, but likely if she does become stature in Phase 4, she won't have the dead dad angle like in the comics. Marvel likes to do trilogies with their characters, so Scott likely has one more film in him before they can kill him off. So why not give that angle to someone else? In this scenario, Clint actually could survive Avengers 4 and just fake his death, allowing his daughter to be adopted by someone else to keep her safe from the constant fighting he puts himself through. Then he could re-enter her life later, maybe as Ronan, once it's clear that she's putting herself in danger anyway. Either to convince her to stop, or to train her so that she has a better chance of survival, and that could give us a more Clinton-Kate-style relationship from the comics, or at least close to it. Having her become the new Hawkeye would at least be an interesting direction to take Clint's established daughter, and it's a better option than just killing her off like the Ultimate Universe did. But what do you guys think? Do you like the idea of Lila becoming Kate Bishop? Well, as always, let us know down in the comments, but until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out. Hey guys, thanks for watching, but if you want to take your support to the next level, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. Also check out our website for the latest news and editorials, and if you want to take your support even further, you can always consider donating to us on Patreon to help our videos get better.